YouTube, I don't know just about done here in the shop. Apparently they um, went on and um, fixed the parts that need to be done to my truck. And I'll show you a little bit of, of it right now. Right now they they did do the, um, they fixed the, uh, the elbow that was hang over the exhaust hanging on the drive shaft. They fixed that. They fixed the bumper uh, for the previous driver that don't know stuff. And now they fix it on the floor. I'm gonna show you that. And then I'm out of here. Matter of fact, while I'm out here, I'm gonna show you guys all these trucks that's out here. I'm gonna just walk through and show you all. There's a bunch of trucks out here. I'm gonna show you right now. There's a whole bunch of trucks out here. Whole bunch. Whole bunch. So, as you as you can see, there, there there's a whole fleet of tractors out here. It's like Baskin and Robbins. You know? The only thing is missing is a driver, but there's a whole bunch of trucks. They got different sections out here. I'm in uh, Wachahatchee, Texas, and technically they have a fleet of trucks just sitting, waiting for drivers to get into. It's a bunch of them. Now, this is a little different for me. From actually owning um, a Freightliner Classic, a 1998 that was bought out uh, cash. What if? And, and and at the same time, they, they got a they got a they got a little setup here. Whereas they take it, they take them through the uh, inspection bay first, then they line them up. And if, if need be, they go to the shop next. And then this row right here is basically where they line them up to wash them. And after they wash, they line them up in the rows A, B, C, D, and E. And I believe it's an F. I'm not sure. But these are all the trucks that are pretty much ready to get washed. And you see, as you can see, there's one driver right there looking for a truck. And this is pretty much the wash bay they'll go ahead and wash them right here and then when they wash them right here they pretty much line them up right there in the rows where you see A, B, C, D, and E so so this, 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 this is watch your hatchet like right now they just finished up a they just finished up a uh, Peterbilt. Nice looking, shiny red. Let's take a look at it. Take a look at it. That's a nice Peterbilt. I like Peterbilt. Nice pee. I can imagine the payment on that. I was looking at a freight line of century out here earlier, as I posted previously, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Now I'm looking at this international right here. But the only thing about this international is it's an automatic. You know, I'm into the older trucks. I just my 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 taste, my opinion. I think they a whole lot better. Pretty much can um, hold his own, carry his own weight. I'll open up the doors. As you can see, it's an automatic. I love the. Um, Original circle gauges, 
got the old fashioned look. Yeah, that's how it looked like that. That's the automatic right there, transmission. Yep, it's still a, it's still an Eden Fuller. Two pedals, gas pedal, brake pedal, no clutch. And National 9400 Eagle. Well, like I said, they got a bunch of stuff out here. And looking at this perspective, like I said, remember I told you about the inspection bay? That's the inspection bay right there. And then it crosses over to the shop. And then there it is. You know. If I was to choose to swap out, I would definitely choose this Peterbilt for sure. Peterbilt's nice. They just, Peterbilt just doesn't have any nice... Doesn't have any... Uh, that much room in them. I'll open up the cab door and let you take a look at it. You know, this is the cab. They want for this Peterbilt. No teller. But she's nice. She's real nice. She's all cleaned up waiting for a driver. Just won't be this one. You got the, uh, I was going to say they got the Goodyear tires all around, but they don't. They got all Goodyear tires except for one. One's a Bridgestone. I'm out here sweating out here, but uh, yeah, these are the trucks out here, it's a whole bunch of them, your choice, your pick, they want you to come out here and get one, they want you to come out here and spend your money, as long as you can stay out the shop, get with a good company, you'll be alright. You know, I went from, I bought, like I said, I bought a truck cash out, you know, and it's not wrong with trying to um, lease, make payment on a truck, so what, so be it. You don't got the money, don't got the down payment, so what, go get you one anyway. That's the Lone Star. You want it in white, creamish looking color? There it is, come get it. Another Lone Star. You want it in black with the chrome trimming around it, dual stacks on the side? Come get it. You want a Kenworth T680? Come get it. International Post Star? Come get it. Another International Post Star. Another Peterbilt. Side by side. Twins. You got a cousin, brother, sister, uncle, father, grandfather. You both can get one. There it is. Waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know about this one. That one got the hood up. But again... Watch your hatchy Texas. This is one of quality company's lots. And they got a bunch of trucks out here. Oh, don't forget the red. You want a Lone Star in red? There it is. Come get it. Yellow is your favorite color. You want to look like Big Bird? There goes a yellow Volvo right here. Come get it. Waiting for you. Event number Charlie November 560116. Come get it. You can put Big Bird right on the back of the sleeper. There you go, Big Bird. That's right, Big Bird. You want another long start? There it is. Come get it. You like Volvo? You want to deal with Volvo parts? There it is. Come get it. It's ready for you. VIN number Delta November 148216. And it got the chains on it. You want to go in the snow? Colorado? There it is. Go get it. It's waiting for you. It's the junk pile over here. I've been noticing that. 
like stuff out here they got stuff for parts you know what I mean trucks I guess trucks have been in accidents or incidents and just been banged up banged up this is the side for them as you can see same truck I got the bumpers tore it up yeah. off the bracket this right here look a, a line of trucks inspection bay this is the inspection bay alright there it is. The last truck is a um, Freightliner Cascadia. Look at the line. Look at the line. Look at the line. Mm hmm. Look at the line. There it is. There it is. Got a bunch of these Max Forces. Stay away. Stay away. Bunch of these max forces. Yep, the line, just the line. But yeah, I'm gonna get the back. I'm gonna get back the mines and um, call it what it is. They just about done. I've been, I've been sitting on my fingers for about a week now. It's time to get up off them. Again, but Big Bird. You got Big Bird right here. You like Cookie Monster? You got Blue right here for Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster and Big Bird, all right? Come get them. They're waiting for you. Look, this truck waiting for you. Look at the fifth wheel. Fresh grease. Fresh grease. Ready to slide up on the sun. Come get it. Come get it. They're waiting for you. Lone Star. They don't want to be alone. Look at the grill, this truck is a beast. This truck is a beast, look at the grill. Freight train, freight train. I wouldn't want to be the car in front of that one. Believe that. Yeah, so, well, my baby's sitting in the um, garage still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it on this note. Um, you all be take, take care. Like I said, I appreciate the support. I'm gonna keep on posting videos. I'm sweating out here. I'm gonna drink this Gatorade and kind of ease back. The last for a few more minutes, and then I'm hitting the road. All right. Again, it's Rusty Nell. You all take care. I'll be posting more videos for the show, and I'll be safe and continue to be blessed. And I'm gone. Take care.